सो दिस इज अ पार्ट थ्री ऑफ के पी एस सी जूनियर इंस्ट्रक्टर प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन डिस्कशन वीडियो यू आर गोइंग टू सी समर क्वेश्चन इन दिस वीडियो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज यूल बी सीन द क्वेश्चन ऑन बोर्ड द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द होरिसोंडल प्लेट्स ऑफ अ सी आर ओ आर सप्लाइड विथ डैश टू ऑब्जर्व द वे फॉर्म ऑफ अ सिग्नल ए सिनेसॉइडल वेव बी कोसाइन वेव सी सो टूथ डी नन ऑफ दिस ओके सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व द प्लेट्स ऑफ सी आर ओ देर इज टू प्लेट्स देर इज होरिजोंडल वन एंड देन देर इज वर्टिकल वन द होरिजोंडल प्लेट और द होरिजोंडल एक्सिस इज करस्पॉन्डिंग टू द टाइम एंड दिस टाइम इज इंटरनली जनरेटेड दिस वर्टिकल एक्सिस इज एक्चुअली रिप्रेजेंटिंग द वोल्टेज लेवल ऑफ द सिग्नल ओके सो वट एवर वोल्टेज लेवल इज द सिग्नल हैविंग यू कैन मेशर इट ऑन द वर्टिकल एक्सिस सो द वर्टिकल एक्सिस इज करस्पॉन्डेड or it is corresponding the voltage or the amplitude level of the signal and it is being externally supplied by the waveform through the cro probe okay so whenever you are connecting a waveform or a signal to the probe of cro that value its amplitude value is taken to the vertical axis and the horizontal axis is corresponding to the time and this time is internally generated okay so in order to generate the time internally we are actually supplying a so tooth waveform okay so the correct answer is it is a so tooth wave so this so tooth wave will be actually representing the or will be uh, taken to produce the time okay so the time is generated with the help of a so tooth wave so the correct answer is option c is the correct answer okay next question the second question is the modulus of a counter is dash a the number of flip flop b the actual number of states in its sequence c the uh, number of times it recycles in a second d the maximum number of states okay so the modulus of a counter is actually the actual number of states of its sequence so how many states the counter is having it is represented by the modulus value okay so the correct answer is option b third question third question is the digital circuit that routes its signal input uh, signal that is its input signal to one of two raised to n output lines depending on n control lines is dash okay so it is actually asking uh, a question from digital electronics so here there is a circuit and it is going to give the signals to two raised to n output lines so there are two raised to n output lines and then n input lines are also there okay so what is this circuit that is a question so you have to identify that which logic is working to this mechanism or this uh, theory so there is an input it will be routed to two raised to n output lines and then there will be n control lines and control lines or select lines okay so this is actually a d multiplexer okay d mux so multiplexing means it is actually combining of signals right so there will be two raised to n input lines and n select lines this is the case for a mux for example 4 is to 1 mux 2 is to 1 mux these are actually multiplexers so for a multiplexer we'll write both the cases okay so this is the case of a dmux so a dmux will be having 2 raised to n output one input and n select lines okay so this is the case of a dmux dmux means it is actually going to demultiplex a combined signal so this is a combined signal or a multiplex the signal in order to demultiplex you will be uh, giving the signal to any of the output lines there will be two raised to n output lines n select lines will be there now if you take the case of a multiplexer for example it is a 4 is to 1 multiplexer means there will be four input lines then two select lines and one output lines so here the case is like this two raised to n input will be there one output 
and again n select lines okay so this is a case of a d max okay so max is a circuit which is actually going to multiplex the signals okay so there will be 2 raised to n input n select lines and one output okay so the question is actually asking regarding a d multiplexer so we have to actually identify the circuit which is actually working based on the given conditions okay so the correct answer is option b d max or d multiplexer okay next question the fourth question is okay so fourth question is actually from a full order a full order can be made up of dash a two half adders b two half adder and a not gate c two half adder and a or gate d two half adder and and gate okay so actually you can make a full adder with the help of two half adder and an or gate okay so you have to properly connect this two half adders with the or gate okay so only then that is by doing this you will be getting the full adder okay so you can this is actually not the realization but the components you require are half adder half adder and a or gate so you can produce a full adder with two half adder and a or gate okay correct answer is option c next question the fifth question is which of the following is called universal bias a emitter bias b voltage divider bias c base bias d none of the above correct answer is b voltage divider bias so generally whenever we are taking the uh, transistor configuration or when an amplifier configuration is been taken we mostly go for voltage divider bias we apply a voltage divider circuit with the help of some resistors and then we give the voltage with the help of this voltage divider through this voltage divider we will be providing the input supply okay so the most commonly used type of universal bias or uh, bias is not a bus it is universal bias okay so the most commonly used type of universal bias is voltage divider bias it is okay correct answer is option b next question sixth question is the advantage of a transistor over vacuum tube is dash that is actually a very basic thing for electronics uh, branch okay so what is the advantage of uh, the invention of transistor over vacuum tubes okay so vacuum tubes are actually the very primitive type of transistors okay so a very small size b minimum power loss in the form of heat c low operating voltage d all of the above correct answer is all of the above because of the size the size of vacuum tube is actually very big also the heat dissipation is very high and operating voltage is also very high so in order to actually avoid these problems or demerits we have invented the transistors okay so the correct answer is option d all the above okay next question seventh question which of the following should be as high as possible okay a signal to noise ratio b hysteresis c range d frequency response okay so which of this uh, following should be as high as possible okay a signal to noise ratio means it is the ratio of signal power to noise power okay so this has to be as high as possible because it is taking the quantity signal power to noise power of so if this quantity of the if this ratio is high means then the signal power is high that means the noise power is less so this quantity has to be very high okay so the correct answer is option a that is signal to noise ratio or signal to noise power ratio should be as high as possible because if S snr or this is actually called as snr signal to noise ratio so if this is high means the signal is of high quality or good quality so only then this ratio will be high right so the correct answer is option a that is signal to noise ratio next one that is eighth one the degree to which the question is the degree to which variation in the output of an instrument follow the input variation is referred to as dash a sensitivity b linearity c hysteresis d accuracy 
So it is actually nothing but linearity. So if you draw a line between the input and output, so we'll put output here, output and input. So whenever there is a variation in input, corresponding variation will be happening to output. So then we call this property as linearity or linear. Okay. So the question is asking the degree to which the variation of output of an instrument follow the input variation means it is called linearity. Okay. Correct answer is option B. Ninth question. The 8051 microcontroller is of dash pin package and is as a dash processor. Okay, so it is actually a 40 pin uh, IC. It is. So if you take the 8051 IC, it is a Intel 8051. It is 40 pin IC and it is of 8 bit. That is 1 byte. Okay. This is the size of address best that is best size is 8 bit or 1 byte okay so the correct answer is option c next question the on stage voltage drop across igbt is dash a less than uh, that across MOSFET greater than that across MOSFET C equal to that across MOSFET D none of the above okay so here the on stage voltage drop across IGBT is actually less than that across across MOSFET okay so if you take MOSFETs the voltage drop is uh, that is on the in the on state condition the voltage drop of MOSFET will be greater than that of IGBT okay so, if you take the reverse case, the voltage drop in the on case of IGBT is actually less than, okay. So, it is less than that of MOSFET. Correct answer is option A, okay. So, the question is actually asking the voltage drop in the on state. So, which device will be having more voltage drop? It is MOSFET, okay. So, IGBT is having less voltage. Correct answer is option A. Next question, that is the 11th one. Which bus is bi-directional? Okay. A. Data bus. B. Control bus. Uh, C. Address bus. D. Multiplexed bus. Correct answer is data bus. So, if you take the buses, data bus means you have to take the data from the memory. That is, if this is memory, if this is the processor, we we'll call it as mu p. Okay. So, if this is a data bus, means the processor has to fetch some data from the memory and also have to write back the data also. So it has to be bi-directional. Okay. Now if you talk about the control bus. Okay. Control bus means you are only controlling with the help of that bus. No data has to be taken from that memory or anything. Okay. So it, it can be unidirectional also. Okay. This is the general case. There can be exceptions also but mostly the control bus will be unidirectional. Then address bus also need to be only unidirectional. But the data bus has to be bidirectional. Okay. Correct answer is option A. Next question. Next, best, uh, next question is the composition of soft solder is dash. Okay. It is actually a theory question. The composition of soft solder. So I hope that you have used the soldering wire. Now, what is the composition of that wire? That is a question. Okay. So, the correct answer I'll be telling you that is lead 37 percentage and tin 63 percentage. Okay. So, it will be having a composition of lead 37 percentage and the remaining will be tin which is 63 percentage. Out of the 100 percentage, 37 is for lead, 63 is for tin. So, the, due to this composition actually it is working as a soldering material. Okay. Correct answer is option A. These are actually theory questions. So, we should be knowing all these things. Next question. The 13th question. Okay. 13th question is, which dis digital IC package type makes the most efficient use on a printed circuit board space? That is PCB. So, the given uh, options are actually various uh, IC packaging mechanisms. SMT, the first one is SMT. It is surface 
mounted technology then to can is again a mechanism then next one is flat pack again another mechanism then last one is dip dip is dual inline packaging so if you see the uh, ic's and all generally the ic's will be using the dip mechanism now out of this one smt that is a surface mounted technology is the most efficient mechanism for pcbs so if you see the pcbs generally they are using only smt that is sm uh, surface mounted technology only they are using okay so these are the uh, various technologies which are used or these are the various mechanisms used for uh, this packaging so okay, ic packaging okay so which of which one is most efficient smt is efficient for printed circuit boards okay correct answer is option a okay so in this video we have actually discussed 13 questions so if you want a separate video on any of the topics please do mention in the comment section we'll be doing a detailed video because while doing the question answer sessions uh, the explanation as much as possible i'm giving but again if you want some other details or some other uh, topics from the given questions please do mention in the comment section we'll be doing as a separate video okay so uh, for uh, finding the notes of this or the questions of this video please do uh, follow on the telegram channel uh, i'm upload i'll be uploading the questions the pdf of this questions on the telegram channel okay so if you found the questions useful please do give it a thumbs up also share it with your friends and also if you want to study various subject wise uh, videos there is separate playlist created for all the main subjects of electronics so you can find the uh, subject videos in those uh, playlists okay so that's it uh, if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching